Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs from May 10th through the 16th. Let's tap into your energy for the week ahead. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. I appreciate you immensely. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. I also have some announcements and bonus readings coming up. And you don't want to miss those announcements. Okay, so what do we have going on for you? Hmm. Are you feeling like you're in competition for someone's affection? Someone's love, affection, attention? Uh, I feel like you feel you've been strung along by someone. You thought you were their only one. Could be vice versa. You have them thinking that they're the only one uh but we've got three males and one female here okay capricorn so king of pentacles king of swords king of cups and one beautiful hot fiery attractive queen of wands so she could be aries Leo, sagittarius that can be you and you may be attracting another earth sign air sign or water sign um or that is you in your energy you know stuck in your head about whether or not this person is as interested i think that you absolutely felt like you had the upper hand here and then you recently realized that maybe they're not as interested in you as you thought, you know? There's competition here. Whether or not you're, I hate to say it, but it's like you want to know if you're in the lead, if you're the one that's going to win here. I feel like you've invested a lot of time, money, energy, effort into this connection. I feel as though some of you, you're heart to your head or other parts of yourself <laughs> may have gotten ahead of the game uh you definitely want to lock this person down is the energy the feeling that i'm getting i think that you feel that this person is like on soulmate level but you're wondering how many other people they're talking to how many other people are they interested in are they dating are they going out with like you know if they're only exclusively dating you, talking to you, seeing you, why aren't they always available to you when you reach out, when you text, when you call, when you ask them what their plans are for lunch, for the evening, for the weekend, you know? Um, I really feel like if your gut is telling you there are other players <laughs> in the mix here, you are absolutely right, unfortunately, Capricorn. I feel that this person definitely loves your attention. I feel that they are torn between two main people here. Whether or not you're in the running, I don't know. I mean, I see the King of Cups being much more closer to that Queen of Wands, but it could be between you and another person. It just really feels like a lot, a lot here. I don't see them making a decision anytime soon. The longer this drags out, the less likely you'll be getting a response or an answer from them. Um, tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person really likes taking care, being taken care of. Um, and they're absolutely enjoying the attention, the love, the attention, the affection, the gifts, the time, energy, you know, all these people fawning over them, buying them gifts. This just feels like this person definitely holds themselves in a higher regard. And it makes you feel as though you're not good enough if she or they are still entertaining other options. Hmm. What does Capricorn need to know about this connection? This can also be with employment. It definitely feels like love to me, though. But if this is about employment, you feel like you've got a lot of competition up ahead that it is between you and one other person. Okay, if this is about work... I think that you're looking at so many different options, but all these other places are also looking at other options. You're not the only running, you know, lead candidate. What are the options? What do they need to know when it comes to work, career, finances, place of employment? Okay, that flew out. Yeah. Uh, 
there is a substantial amount of money that can be made here. A fortunate turn of events. I feel, I also feel that the employer is really looking to save some money and you may be worth more than they can pay you. They may be trying to scramble up how to afford you as an employee, as a consultant, as a contractor, whatever it may be, because they see you almost a bit too expensive for their budget <laughs> in higher regard. But they don't want to lose you. They just don't know how to keep you or if they can afford you, okay? I think that what they can afford in order to offer you a job or a place in their company position is significantly less than what you're used to, what you've earned, what you have known for so long. It's up to you if you're willing to make that bit of a sacrifice, okay? So if this is in love, what does Capricorn need to know? If this is being between a bunch of lovers <laughs> and more of the same. <sighs> no pierdas las esperanzas, right? Like you, you're, you're trying not to lose your patience and feelings of hopelessness, wondering whether or not this person is ever going to come in and love you the way you love them. I think you see yourself and they see you as someone who is very loyal, very loving, very caring and attractive. You don't have the edge that they're looking for is what I'm hearing. So you may be giving them all that they want the others are probably just mostly, you know, physically and financially giving a little bit extra. But they're kind of empty connections is what I'm feeling. However, I feel like they will want to maintain a friendship to keep you at a distance just within reach. So when these other connections start drying out, they come back to you, right? Yeah. Entertaining friends with benefits or somebody who uh, just basically says, I want to be your friend or um, I only see you as a friend. I care about you as a friend. Uh, not, not entirely ghosting you, but definitely friend zoning you and then turning against you so it's like like you're the best we're best friends but then you know they're messing around with others so be careful of that because sometimes even if it's a friendship that starts out a friendship turns into lovers you may have valued that friendship more than they did because I feel like they probably won't think twice about moving on okay so, yeah, I think I'm going to stop there. Okay. What does Capricorn not know? Uncover the truth of this connection. You have unconditional love for them. You support them wholeheartedly, but how do they feel about you? There's tension. There's a sense of incompatibility. I, I Again, I keep getting the same type of energy of um, you're giving them everything that they want, but in reality, they know you're better off without them. They're just kind of milking the situation. There is a sense of age difference that I'm getting as well. So you may be interested in someone who is either way older or way younger. Uh, you just are not seeing each other eye to eye. This can also be someone who is about your age, older, younger, doesn't matter. But somebody is much less immature or much, much, yeah, definitely feel like they are just very immature. Plus, they love the chase. They love you coming after them, giving them all that attention. I told you, getting the same messages, different decks. So let's close this out with the wisdom of the Oracle messages here. What message do you have for my Capricorn friends? Mending friendships, relationships, partnerships. If you started off as a friendship with this person, 
turned into lovers want, hoping and wanting this to be more than that and they basically tell you like I got love for you you, you know you're the best you know we're you're a really good friend you you know they say all the nice wonderful things that you say to someone that you don't want a relationship with and then you realize you just got friend zoned by your friend who you've been sleeping with or spending a lot of time energy um money on and you start to realize you've been played by your own friend i think there's a lot that needs to be mended within this connection with this friendship this partnership relationship but also within yourself what allowed uh, you to continue to follow this person like a puppy is what I heard. I think that because you felt so comfortable in their presence that you felt comfortable enough to just show up at their house, show up at their work, and then it was kind of uncomfortable. And they almost felt like that sense of friendship energy that the two of you had beforehand is no longer there. So it, the spirit is giving you that sense of power to start over again, to mend things within you, within this relationship. And basically the energy, the ball is in your court. Spirit is saying you've got everything you could possibly need, what it takes to start over again, to move forward. Oh, beautiful. Things will start to look very very good for you moving forward i think this was one last lesson that you needed to learn about how to handle certain boundaries and connections and when to identify when somebody isn't right for you when somebody is taking advantage of you or taking you for granted okay so lesson learned capricorn how you move forward is definitely up to you i am sending you so much love and support this week ahead Definitely give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I am linking here your playlist of all the Capricorn readings and whatever else I've already recorded because I'm a little bit behind. So thank you for being patient with me. I've got a lot of announcements coming, so make sure that you double tap the bell to subscribe to get notifications of the announcements and the readings. I will be going live again as I got new equipment. Yay! I'm so looking forward to that. And um, let's take it from there. Sending you so much love and support. Have a wonderful week ahead. Take care. Bye.